Before the pandemic started, globalization has been a thing for many years now. The reason why is because of the invention of the internet. Because of the internet, information can be taken with just the top of a finger. That's why we're living in the information age. And other than information, that's not the only thing we can take from the internet. We could also communicate and interact with people because of social media. Ideologies and cultures spread from person to person. People develop their own subcultures, cultures mixed together, ideologies, they spread and they change, opinions change as well. And ever since the pandemic started, I don't really think that globalization through the internet was hindered or stopped. Virus can't travel on the internet, it's not a computer virus, it, it's a human virus. You don't really have to talk face to face in order to interact with a person on the internet. You can still communicate with one another and share information and ideas through our screens. So when the pandemic hit, it didn't really fully stop globalization. Globalization through market, like for example with online shopping. Online shopping has been booming more than ever because going through physical stores is actually much more dangerous. For now, we're not thriving, we're not really living, we're surviving. And it's awful, but that's how it is for now. And the only thing that's still thriving is globalization, in my opinion. Despite the fact that there is COVID, we're still communicating with each other through internet, spreading information and culture. Like for example, the Black Lives Matter protests in America, it spread very far and wide in the internet. And I think that's a great thing because Black Lives truly matter. They matter, all lives do not matter until Black Lives Matter. That's important. And it's important those types of ideologies spread through different countries, especially here in the Philippines where racism and colorism is such a huge deal. Ideologies were spreading and that's a good thing. That's an example of globalization and that's an example of how globalization is still thriving despite the fact that the pandemic hit. As for the future, obviously for the future I hope that the pandemic stops. That's everyone's dream. Uh, updates on the vaccine is something that we're all paying attention to right now. There's, if we're still living this new normal life of masks and face shield, globalization will still go on. As how it is going on right now in the present, that's how it's going to be in the future. When the typhoons hit the Philippines, that's not the way that I helped with the typhoon, I was very disappointed in myself because I couldn't help more. Like all I could do was spread information. I had like just, I had, I have 13 pesos in my Gcash account, like just 13 pesos. But I know that any small amount could help and I wanted to donate just that small 13 pesos amount but I couldn't because my Gcash account is not verified and I need like an ID and I don't have a valid ID with me right now because I can't use the student ID. I don't even have a driver's license. I'm not even a registered voter. Next year, I will register with the rest of my family. It's time to get rid of these government officials that think it's appropriate to celebrate their birthday in the middle of a storm to cause such destructive events to happen, to release water from a dam without warning people. It's time to vote out those people. It's time that we use our power and vote. Do your research and vote for the right person. Don't fall for these government parties, like whether you're Dilawan or DDS. Vote for what you've seen is right. Don't just be loyal to a government ideology to a certain government officials. Don't be loyal to any government officials, period. Be loyal to your country and do what you think is right. As for the typhoon, I hope that in the future, when I do get a job, that I will be able to help a lot more. That's it.